Hi there, I'm Simon King and I'm the Head of Maths here at Reigate College. So, why is maths such a great option at A-Level? Maths is an exciting and all-encompassing subject that builds great skills in problem solving, reasoning and logic. Skills that you will have started to develop at GCSE and you will continue to do so throughout the advanced level course. A-Level Maths allows students to see the world through a mathematical lens and opens doors to a variety of possibilities for further study or employment. It's highly regarded by university admissions departments, apprenticeship providers and employers alike and is still seen as a facilitating subject. What will the A-Level course cover? The majority of the A-Level course content is based on pure maths. In fact, two of the three final exams in the upper six will be pure content only. At the beginning of the lower six, we go over GCSE content at a grade six or seven level, and then accelerate upwards to the standard A-level topics of calculus, logarithms, and binomial expansion. In the upper six, more pure topics are introduced, and learning is embedded from the previous year. The final exam of the course encompasses applied maths, which consists of statistics and mechanics. Common topics include probability, statistical distributions and hypothesis testing in statistics. And in mechanics, there's a focus on kinematics, forces, variable acceleration and projectiles. Which subjects combine well with maths? Well, maths combines really well with lots of subjects thanks to its focus on problem solving skills. It goes particularly well with sciences, especially physics, and is a great combination with economics and business. Most students also find the combination of maths with computer science or information technology to also be extremely beneficial. What are our entry requirements for maths? The entry requirement for A-level maths is a minimum of a grade six at GCSE. It's set at a six so that everyone starting the course can comfortably get through the rigors of the course and do well at the end of two years. If you're considering A-level maths, you'll be expected to complete the new starters course task for maths ahead of starting at the college in September. These will give you a really good insight into what it's like doing A-level maths and are designed to help you decide whether it's for you. So what can maths lead to? Well, former A-level maths students from college have gone on to study a wide range of subjects at university, including mathematics, physics, engineering, computing, economics, business, and other specific STEM courses like robotics and AI. Many prospective medical students also choose to study A-level maths as a useful third subject. Apprenticeship providers in accountancy and other finance-related fields also value the qualification. 